Hey there. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add an MCP server in Nest.js. And of course, that's the tool right inside VS Code. If you've never heard of MCP, MCP is a new standard that lets large language models connect to non-traditional or text-based data sources like applications and databases, and then use them as tools to perform various tasks. An example is the Git MCP tool. It lets an LLM perform actual Git operations like cloning a repo, tracking issues, and managing pull requests, all through natural language. In this tutorial, we'll take a simple Nest.js backend and add an MCP server to it. Then we'll expose the weather endpoint as a tool so that our large language model can call it direct. Let's see the code. So here, we're starting with the fresh Nest.js application. I've already installed the Model Context Protocol SDK along with MCP Nest and Zod packages. First up, we'll create a new module called the Weather Module. Like any Nest app, we need to add it to our app module. And then we'll create a service with a simple get weather function. It takes a city as an input, returns a placeholder string, something like it's 20 degrees and sunny in Miami. To test it, we'll add a basic controller that calls our service and then we can hit the endpoint using a client. In this case, I'm using Thunder Client just so that I don't leave VS Code. And just like that, we get our expected response, which means that our service is working. Let's set up an MCP tool. This is the file that the LLM will call to trigger our service. In Nest.js, all we have to do is create a new class called weather.2.ts. First, we add the tool decorator and define the name description, and parameters that the LLM should send to get the weather. Then, we implement a function that makes the actual service call. The important part is the return. MCP tools must return content with the clear type and text. Next up, resources. Resources are data sources that AI agents can reference directly. We use the resource decorator, set the URI, the name, the description, and the MIME type and then we create a function to return the data. This file is going to be used by an LLM to understand what type of services or resources our MCP server exposes. And that's it. That's how simple it is to define MCP tools and resources in Nest.js. One final step before we can test it. We need to import the MCP module into our application, give it a name and a version. Once that's done, your MCP server will start automatically alongside your app. You can test this right inside VS Code by creating an mcp.json file, or you can use the GUI if you prefer. In this example, we'll quickly set up an mcp.json file by specifying the service name, the endpoint URL, and the server type. Once that's done, VS Code automatically detects and starts the server. Now, let's test it. We'll ask, what's the weather in Miami? Click Send, and as you can see, it routes the request through our tool, calls the service, and gets the response. As LLMs continue to power more tools, it's super useful to have a Nest.js service that can expose tools like this in your stack. If you want to see how to build this in C Sharp or Unity, drop a comment, let me know. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.